What's going on, y'all? This your boy LA Styles. Uh, back on a short, or well, kind of a short, episode 15, uh, where we go over the numbers. Sorry for the little bit of the delay, but I do be out here doing 12s a lot of times, and y'all know how that is. And I got a second uh, job at night, so I be I be busy. All right, uh, but we are gonna get this up for y'all Sunday. Today is Saturday, right now. So coffee them is not on this one. Who want to be on this one? But they will be on the one tomorrow with the, with our regular scheduled uh, podcast, Postal Blue Podcast, which will be released on Monday, right? But I got to get this out here. Coffee most likely still out here working. Uh, Fee birthday was a couple of days ago. Shout out to my sister Fee Watkins MIA. Don't nobody know what, what she be doing. You know what I'm saying? Um, it is what it is. Right, but I did, I did say I was gonna get you guys these, these numbers and I'm here with the numbers. Now, give you a breakdown of the screen, right? <clears throat> uh, the mini screen, that is the tentative agreement, right? That's kind of in the center towards the bottom. That's the tentative agreement. I scroll through that from time to time. When, I, when I'm talking between the two screens, the big screen and the mini screens, what we gonna call them? The big screens, what you, what the, the numbers you see up top, right? The main things you see with the math, the hourly, the, the yearly, the whatever, the breakdowns, that's the big screen. The mini screen is, is at the bottom. I can rotate through both of these. I'll let you know which one I'm on and what I'm reading from when I'm doing it so y'all can keep track, right? <coughs> Excuse me. Right, so we gonna get into this, right? Let me let me let me get to my screens. Well, uh, of course, you guys going to continue to see this right here, but I won't be seeing this screen. Uh, I'm going to be seeing some different screens. So hold on. Let me, let me get to my screens and we'll get to talking. All right. Cool. All right. So let's get straight into it of the breakdown. Hold on. I'm going to go to the mini. Let's go to the mini first. We're going to read wh what it is. This is this episode again. To a degree short, we normally aim about an hour longer, but I said I was gonna give you ones just for the pay alone. Uh, and there's not a ton to explain about the pay, right? Just we're gonna do some, some basic math here. Um, everything gonna be possibly some sense off, give or take, or whatever the case is. Uh, and, and I'll explain that as I go. But again, we're gonna get into it. Whew. All city carriers will receive the following general wage increase, GWI. If you ever hear me say GWI, once we get into it, I'm talking about the general wage increase, the one that we get in every November, right? All three of them negotiated from um, oh, 23 to 25 at 1.3%, okay? Paid retroactively is because that time passed, right? That time passed. So we're going to get both of those. I ain't going to say at the same time. They got the dates at the bottom, but we're supposed to get everything in 2025 if we agree to this, right? I'm not here to tell you to agree or not agree or not to agree. Again, I'm voting no. That's me. That's me personally. You know what I'm saying? I'm not here to persuade your vote. But again, with how a lot of big companies, big businesses uh, do things, they give you um, the big number. So it, it looks like something and it may not be anything once you break it down right i know a lot of people have that problem i still have that problem right so when someone telling you man i just get i just gave y'all 15 to 20 percent over a period of a contract as soon as he said the over the period of the contract it was already a no-go for me or if you said if you said 10 to 20 over any time frame it's going to sound like trash. So that means you didn't get me that over people are getting 10%, 20% for a year. You talking about 10 to 20 for three years, right? Well, actually uh, damn near four, uh, not counting in 2026. We're still going to get the colas, just not the, the GWI in November. Cause we'll be in a new contract or quote unquote should be in a new contract by then. So we're going to get into it. All right. 1.3, 1.3, 1.3. All right. What else would we need to take? Uh, from this, okay. We also need to take, well, we'll take from this right now the colas. Seven colas total. <clears throat> One for 23, two for 24, uh, two for 25. I'm gonna scroll up. I, I gotta keep cognizant that it's something else on the other screen that y'all might not see. So try to remind, well, y'all can't remind me. <laughs> I gotta try to remind myself to scroll things up high enough that it won't block, uh, the mini screen won't block. You know what I'm saying? But again, 
all the information here. Uh, you want to pause something, pause the video at any point in time. You know what I'm saying? No cam and makes intent. Uh, we got uh, one colon 23, two and 24, two and 25, two and 26, right? Um, just for FYI, but we'll come back to it. The one, the two and 25, two and 26, we do not know what that would be, right? This is important. That's very important for a man to say he negotiated what the numbers are already. But okay, cool. All right. So I don't think we need anything else in that right now. We're gonna come back to it. Okay, cool. Let's let's get to where we need to be. Oh, uh, where we go? There we go. So you should be seeing the mini um the big screen now, right? We off the mini screen. We on the we on the big screen. Paid or not paid? That is the question, right? All numbers are based on a 40 hour work week right what we call straight pay not we're not taking into account of overtime penalty uh knife shift differential what your base pay would be no overtime or anything extra included right it's the best way you can you can get to your numbers don't, don't don't make it more complicated than what it is 2023 is where we're gonna start now i broke things down because we all make different pay I, I can't go over and will not be going over who makes what at $20 an hour, $22 an hour, $23 an hour, $23.50 an hour. You know what I'm saying? So I baselined it, right? At $20, $30, and $40. And you can work your way in between those numbers with the numbers that, that we have at the end here, right? Well, I'm going to get to that. I'm going to explain all that, right? So I'm going to give you an example. And then you baseline. So, right, I did 20, 30, and 40. So, if you make the round of $25 an hour, then you would come down here and then your raise, what you would get, will break down to something between these two numbers right here 56 or 90, which is probably more like 70 cents, right? If you make around the $25 mark. So, let's get into it. And I'll break down this first set of numbers so you'll get the understanding. Then we're going to go to the second, third, and fourth set of numbers, right? Um, I'm going to keep this short for you or attempt to, or shorter attempt to. Oh, 2023, our general wage increase, GWI, is 1.3%. The COLA is $978, right, for that year. Now, example, anyone making $20 an hour is making $38,000 a year, right? See, I don't know if you can see my mouse. <laughs> I don't know if you can see the mouse, but $38,000 $38, a year right there. Hold on. Let me can I get to the, nah, I ain't going to worry about it. Anywho, let me, let me make sure I scroll this up high enough. So you guys can see. $20 an hour, then you make $30,000 a year, right? Now, when you do your math, add the COLA first, because the COLA uh, kicks in before your GWI. So when the GWI kicks in, it stacks on top of the COLA. So this has to be included in what you make yearly when that kicks in. You understand? You following so far? So that's why down here, I added the uh, the um, the cola first. All right. So twenty dollars an hour equals thirty eight thousand dollars a year. Plus your cola will put you at thirty eight thousand nine hundred seventy eight dollars. Right. Then kick in your one point three percent after that will put you at thirty nine thousand four hundred and eighty four dollars for the year. That breaks down to hourly. Right. And when you want to see this, you just divide this number by 12. Once you get here, divide this by 12. That's going to show you what you make in a month. Then you divide that by 160 because your base would be 160 hours in a month. Right. 40 hours a week, 40, 80, 120, 160. So again, you take this, divide this by 12. That'll get you what you make in a month. Then you divide that by 160. That's what you'll get for your hourly. You working 160 hours for that month. That breaks down to $20.56. So if you was anywhere close to around or are this $20 mark, you would have got a 56 cent raise for your 2023 negotiations. That's what he negotiated for you. So he negotiated for you total. Between this 978 and your 1.3% got you 56 cents. That's what it got you. All right, we're going to keep it moving. 
If you're around the $30 uh, an hour range, you make $57,600 a year. Plus your COLA, 978 equals 58,578. Stack your 1.3% on top of that gets you to $59,339, right? That breaks down to $30.90. Remember, you started with 30. After all this, you ended up 30.90. So you got a 90 cent raise for your 2023 negotiations. If you're at the $40 an hour mark, top of the pay scale, right? So what bottom of the pay scale, middle, top of the pay scale. $40 an hour, $76,000 in uh, $800, $76,800 a year, plus your 978 equals $77,778. Stack your 1.3% on top of that, gets you to $78,789. You break that down, mean, mean, uh, <laughs> don't forget, divide that by 12, then divide that by 160, gets that person a 4103. So they got a 103 raise for 2023. This was this is what was negotiated. Now again, when you want to um, find where you at, if you're around the 25 dollar range, right, then you just got to fit yourself in the middle. This is 20. This is 30. Fit yourself in the middle here. That's like a 70, 71 cent raise, right? Listening, listening. Between 56 and 90. If you fit between these two, around the $35 mark, right? You're probably at like 96, 97 cent raise for 2023. That's just for 2023. Now, you wanna write these numbers down if you want to, that's fine. Um, this is not uploaded anywhere, so I can't link it for you guys to get it. But again, pause the video, and I did do some some more calculations so you can got, so you guys will see what, you, what the contract totally uh, got you for each of these sets 20 30 and 40 right that's all that's at the bottom so if that's what you're writing things down for don't worry about it i got that at the bottom okay we're gonna get there um so if you was around the 20 your 2023 negotiations got you 56 around the 30 got you 90 and around 40 got you 103 total that's what you got that's what your hard work uh got you cool that's what we waited this this long for that right there okay cool 2024 okay so now when you breaking this down right you don't bring these numbers down no more because this stuff right here needs to stack on top of what you would have been making at that point and what you would have been making is the numbers to the right you would have been making this 39,484 which is this twenty dollars and fifty six cent this number here with the 3090 this number here with the 4103 so that's what we do we bring those numbers down because in 2024, then you should have been at this 2056 mark, right? And we got we get two colas, one in March, one in September, 1.3 hits in November. So again, we're gonna add that. So you're at the 2056, which is $39,484 a year, plus your two colas. I added those two together. It's 1331, right? That equals $40,815 plus. Your 1.3% on top of that gets you to $41,345. You do the math, that breaks down to $2,153, which is, right? And again, you, where you're going to get this is, go by what you what you started at $2,056 and take that from the $2,153. That'll give you $0.97. Cent. It's a $0.97 cent raise. Or just do it in reverse, $2,153. 53 minus 2056 97 cents right that's that's your raise for 2024 so the $20 hour game he got you 56 cent in one year and then he 56 cent an hour not total 50, he got you 56 cent an hour in your first year and guy and then gave you 97 cent or negotiated for you 97 cent in your second year right this this is what we're getting cool up next, thirty dollar uh, and ninety cent game. You at fifty nine thousand three hundred thirty nine dollars a year, plus your thirteen thirty one gets you to sixty thousand six hundred and seventy. Your one point three is on top of that, puts you at sixty one thousand four hundred and fifty eight. That breaks down to thirty two dollars an hour, which is a dollar and ten cent raise in twenty twenty four for you, right? 
your first raise was 90 cent now, now he got you a dollar ten so you had two dollars total again you don't have to write this part down if you don't, it's not necessary until we get to the bottom i already added uh up up them i already added them up for y'all again i'm trying to get this done i got a long night already and i got to get to work um so i got to get this this <laughs> recorded edit it a little bit and get it uploaded so it, you guys get this tomorrow you know what i'm saying y'all y'all can discuss this among yourselves with the numbers but this is ridiculous right cool if you if you was around the 40 dollar gang all right right now you have 4103 uh an hour right cool you you at 78,789 dollars for the year that's so your yearly plus your 1331 on top of that uh or added to that gets you to 80,120 with your 1.3 on top of that gets you to 81,161 that breaks you down to $42.27, which equals a dollar and twenty uh a dollar and twenty-four cent raise in 2024. Cool. Bring our numbers down, right? Up from the right side, bring those numbers down. Boom, we're here. 2025. We got another 1.3, and we got two colas again. They expect it. We're gonna go over that. This is what it's here for. Right? So we had $21 in, in uh in 53 cents for the $20 game, right? That's if you at the if you again this is this is taken into context that you at these numbers quote unquote or around these numbers right now yeah, all everything I'm talking about going to stack on top of that so it's relevant to you as I'm going down and shifting down through the your pay ain't got got to change in your head I know in your head you thinking oh man I'm not at the twenty fifty six is this going to apply to me whatever we baselining it for everybody at the 20, 30, and 40, and then we fit ourselves in between those numbers, right? So they're not too far off anyway. We're talking about cents. It's not even like we're talking about dollars. If we were talking about real money, there would be a big difference, and I would have to do like more increments of 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. But it's not, right? It's literally cents as difference. You know what I'm saying? 15, 20 cent differences. Okay. So cool. Uh, where we at? 2025, right? So that 2153 um you had uh 41,345 for the year the two colas get you 1224 that equals 42,569 let me let me make sure i'm i'm in uh i want to make sure you guys can see it all right i, I want to keep the stuff in, in view though okay we'll leave it there uh with your 1.3 percent get you at 43,122 which equals 22 dollars and 46 cents which is a 93 cent raise for you in 2025. $32 an hour uh, puts you at 61,458 a year, plus your two colas, 1224, gets you to $62,682, plus your 1.3 on top of that, gets you to $63,496, which equals $33.07, right? Um, an hour. That's a dollar and seven cent raise for you in 2025. $41 in uh 4103 an hour is 81,161. Yeah, I do want to double check my number. Plus your 1224, which is your two colas, puts you at 82,385. Uh, with your 1.3 on top of that, puts you at 83,486 dollars, which breaks down to $43.46, which is a two dollar and forty-three cent raise for you. That's at the top of the pay scale in 2025, right? Cool. Bring these numbers down. 2026. Let's follow. Again, they ain't just going to end. I'm going to go back through. We're going we to talk about some, some of these things, right? I'm going to explain some more. I just want to get through the numbers. Pause the video where you may, all right? 2026, question marks. There is no GWI. That will be the next contract. So it, there will be one, but there's not any that we can calculate right now. So we gotta move forward without it currently. Uh, but we just notate that. So we notate it there, we notate it at the end of the numbers down here. Cool. We do have two colors again, expected. All right, March and September. So 2246, then uh, you're at 43,122. Uh, plus your 1185 for your two colas, puts you at 44,307. Plus your blank, uh gwi which which you can't say so plus zero so 
So you still at $44,307, which breaks down to $23.07, which is a 61 cent raise without your, your, your general wage increase for 26, because we don't know what the number is. Uh, same thing, 3307, 63496, uh, plus 1185, puts you at 64681. We don't know. Um, oh, crap, you made a little bit more. I don't know why this number. Five, 681. I gotta change. I gotta change uh, the thirty the thirty dollar hour game. Thirty dollar hour game. Hold on. Sixty four six eighty one divided by twelve equals divided by one sixty equals thirty three sixty eight. Oh, okay. Maybe that number we just messed up. It is thirty three sixty eight. Okay, I might have changed this on accident because they had the exact same thing uh, up right there, uh, which is a sixty one cent raise. Cool. Again, uh, GWI, we don't know what that's gonna be. Uh, $40 hour gain, 43 in 2026, uh, you would already be at the 43, $46 an hour. That puts you at 83,456, plus your 1185, puts you at 84,641 blank, uh, which is why you still at 84,641, because we don't know what that percent is. All right, which is $44.08 which is a 61 cent raise for you as well. Of course, because only thing we have to work with is the 1185. The percent supposed to be, uh, which is your, G your GWI is a big uh, part of what, what differentiates this, right? Because it's a percent based on what your yearly is, right? And because all our yearlies might be different or somewhat different, this is where you see the changes in this number. Other than that, your raise, our, all our raise would look like it's the same because it's all just, coming from the cola and when if we all get the exact same cola pay then it makes sense that your raise will be the exact same right um so cool i, I break this down so if you was around the 20 dollars an hour right meaning you at 20 dollars an hour right now right well let's, let's let's go let's go to the 30 because in reality a lot of people shouldn't be at the 20 unless they like ccas but it's a starting ground because some people are making 23 24 that's regular still uh, or 22, 23, or 24, that's regular, um, okay? But we're gonna go to the 30. So 30, 30 game, wow, there we go, 57,600. Uh, we started making, um, I'm putting myself in it, so we, I can, I can make it make sense as I walk one individual, one group through this, and then it should make sense to everybody. $30, we started with $30, this year so like right now i make 30 dollars. i don't i wish i did but <laughs> let's say right now i make 30 dollars, and I, we don't have a contract right so i'm trying to figure out what's gonna happen when this contract finish how much money i'm gonna be making so let's say i'm at 30 dollars an hour right now i'm at the i'm in the 30 hour uh 30 dollar an hour game cool that means i make uh 57,600. cool if i sign this contract and i okay this then I'm okay in a 30 cent raise, right? For back pay, a 30 cent, I mean a 90 cent raise for 2023. And then I'm okay in a dollar and 10 cent raise for 2024, right? And I'm okay in uh, for next year that I'm gonna get a dollar and seven cent raise, right? That's what I'm doing. And then I'm currently okay in a 61 cent raise minus the GWI, of course. So remember, I'm trying to remember to say that so people don't think that I'm messing them up. Nah, it's not there. A 61 cent raise currently in 26. If you add that together, total the contract, if I if I vote yes, if the contract pass, I'm out and I'm at $30 an hour right now, I will get a total of a $3.68 raise by the end of 2026 minus G, uh, the GWI total. This is what the contract would bring me total. $3.68. All right, you with me? Let's go, let's go to, let's go to the 40 game. 40 game, you have 76,800. This would get me, uh, views if I'm at 40 right now in my head, 
I'm at, I'm at, I'll get, I make $40 an hour right now. And I sign, and I vote yes on this contract. And, and it goes through with the, the majority rules or whatever the case. I'm okay in getting a dollar and three cent raise for 2023, a dollar 24 cent raise for 2024, a two dollar and 43 cent raise for 2025, and a 61 cent raise minus the GWI again <laughs> um, for 2026, which puts me at a grand total of five dollars and 43, I mean, five dollars and 31 cents total by the end of this contract by the end of this contract $20 game we had 20 we got a 50 cent we got a 56 cent raise for one year 97 cent for oh uh for 24 a 93 cent raise for 25 and a current 61 cent raise um for 26 with, with, which would give us a three dollar and seven cent raise again you want to know what your hourly would be you just add this to the twenty dollar gang over here you know what i'm saying so by the end of 2026 you would be at 2307 minus the gwi that we don't know what it would be i could have just put any number in there but i don't want to guess what he would negotiate or attempt to negotiate let them tell it or whoever's in the office tell it so you have to see if this, if this looks appealing to you you know what i'm saying um it doesn't really look appealing to me uh and if i especially if i tell you what the general uh wage increase might be around what might be even if i take it from 1.2 percent to a 1.5 percent to a, you know what i'm saying 1.8 percent whatever the case is or two percent when it's not it's still cents it would damn to still be cents for the most part it's increases so 30 let, let's let's say on the high end i put you at four dollars let, let's say it gives it gives you 93 cents is a four dollar raise worth it in that contract that's to you that's you got to determine that right that would be a um a, a four dollar if this bumps you to four dollars right that's a, a actual 10 that's a 20 percent increase right but it's but it's over a period of three three years damn near three in a, in a quarter years right remember we we owe money um already so this don't look that appealing right uh quick note before i move on ccas y'all get a 2.3 percent raise um again y'all get a 1.3 percent uh gwi but because you don't get colas, they give y'all an extra percent. That's why you have 2.3. And y'all get a 2.3% raise for all three years because you do not get colas. Plus a 50, per, a 50 cent increase hourly based on the tables. Um, so again, when I did, did the math, um, pretty much that would get y'all, let's say y'all was around, around the 20, that'll get you a 2023 that'll get you a 40 cent uh 49 a 46 cent raise in 23 a 93 cent raise in 24 and then um gives you a dollar and 41 in 25. um but then you'll be a regular and then your shit gonna slow up excuse my language but this oh okay let's go back here now this is this is concern. We we gonna get back there. So now we should be on the I forget what screen. I'm talking so long. So now we on the mini screen, right? Go to the mini screen. Be at the mini screen. Hold on. This this is this is the weird part. It ain't really weird, but it's weird now. 2025 that we calculated, right? 2025 and 2026 we don't know and they don't know what the what the colas will be the colas is based on the economy right um on on what the numbers will be now right now it looks to be estimatedly 620 604 so now we down here at the bottom right 620 right so this will be your march 20 uh your march 25 
604 will be your September of 25. 624 will be your March of 26. And if you scroll down further, the 561 respectively would be your September of 2026. Cola. Now this this is <laughs> this is a part. Now hold on, let me continue to read this because it's important, right? In fact, let me read this whole thing. The future. I'm starting at, at the top right here. The future value of the remaining four colas will depend, of course, on the rate of inflation measured by the CPIW between now and July 2026. Based on the inflation forecast of the Congressional Budget uh, Office, expected inflation rates would generate in a um, would generate annual step P colas of 620, 604, 624, and 561, respectively. We're at the bottom of the screen now. For the four remaining colas, apply. Let me, let me just scroll down. Uh, apply propor uh, proportionally uh, to the letter carrier's pay tables as described above. Right. This is important. That's in bold. This this is why we got. It's it's, it's like a, a two or three step problem. Please note that these are only projected colas. Actual colas may be lower or higher depending on the rate of future inflation. The man said he negotiated everything and we supposed to be getting what we supposed to be getting. You can't negotiate colas. It's based on the economy. This is why there's, there's no actual numbers here because it's not set in stone. These, because the date passed, we don't already know what those are. They, they came to be already. These, they don't. Meaning these numbers down here can be way lower than what they are right now. Or it could be higher, right? Or it could be higher. I'm playing devil's advocate a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I ain't, I ain't, I'm, I'm get here to give the information. So, you, so how did you negotiate these when you don't even know what they are? So the only thing I really can give you credit for or anybody should give you credit for is these 1.3 percent you had to negotiate this and the other stuff in the contract this is what you negotiated for us you didn't get us 10 to 20 percent if you're talking about this 1.3 percent total this is 3.9 percent where, where are you getting the 10 from i know where you're getting the 10 from or the 10 to 20 as he said in his response that i don't have up he said he don't think that we understand uh, what he got us or that we now understand the, the agreement that he got us um, 10 to upwards of 20. Well, I'm, I'm going to angle say upwards of 20 from 10 to 20 percent. He got everybody from 10 to 20 percent over the duration of the contract. I don't know what math you're doing because 1.3, 1 1.3 and 1.3 equals 3.9 all day. 3.9 all day. You got us four four percent. You didn't get us the colas. The colas is what we're going to get anyway. And, and what they're going to be or what they are is not determined by you. Determined by the CBO. What are you talking about? They, they got to know what inflation is going to be. You didn't. What did you negotiate, man? This is out of your control. The colas is out of your control. You can't negotiate that. You negotiated this. 1.3, 1.3, 1.3. Where is you getting a 10 to 20%? I'm not a fool, man. I'm not a fool. And again, I even did the, the calculations, of course, with your colas as is, and they still don't look appealing for me. For me. They don't look appealing. Now I'm back at the, the, the main screen, y'all. I'm, I'm going to leave this up, y'all. Y'all. Let me know if y'all agree or disagree with whatever you're going to get. Now, again, if you was at the $20, let's say 25. So if you at 25 right now, right, then you're going to fit somewhere in between this. If you agree or if this contract goes into effect by the end of 2026, your, your, your total raise would be somewhere in between this, maybe $3.30. Something like that, right? Maybe like 337, 336, something like that. That would be yours. If you're at the $35 uh, range, you would be in the middle of here, right? That would put you at about, uh, 
let's say four i can't go that high maybe about the 440 40 it put me at um, yeah maybe about the 445 450 mark so we're in there i'm eyeballing this right right now you know what i'm saying somewhere in, in the middle of these two numbers you know what i'm saying in the middle of these two numbers so you have to you have to decide is that worth it to you um now some of this is like a 10 a 10 percent raise if you count the the 1.3 1.3 1 1.3 with all the colas right but you got to remember you're getting that over a period of three plus years or three years you know what i'm saying and i'm saying that because it's really 2023's raises 2024's raises 2025's raises and then the colas from 2026 that you know what i'm saying that's actual four years not for like full years though you know what i'm saying because it's like partial years um so you getting the 10 percent but it's over a period of years. Now, the issue with this is you have people across the board all throughout management, they getting 10% for a year. They getting 20% for a year. They getting a 4% bonus for a year. They can get 20 to 24% between bonuses and raises for one year. These supposed to be glad that we got a 10% over the course of three years and some change or three years, let's just say three years. That's like 3.3 cent, 3.3 percent increase a year compared to people getting 10 to uh to 20 for the year. So I think that's the problem that people people are having, right? But again, as your vote, right? Vote yes if it looks appealing to you. Vote no if it doesn't look appealing to you. You know what I'm saying? That's that's your choice. Uh, same thing with CCAs and PTFs who might get, who might catch hell or get credit, um, or don't get credit. You know what I'm saying? Um, this your, it's your choice, man uh, or woman. Uh, it's your vote. You know what I'm saying? Vote yes if you agree. Vote no if you don't agree. Um, but be aware for uh, CCAs and PTFs that although uh, it might look appealing to you, and I'm not saying it is appealing because again regulars regulars can count money typically they know when something is off it might look appealing to you but remember y'all not ptfs or ccas for that much longer so if you agree by the time you hit a regular which is soon which will be soon then your stuff is going to gradually uh slow not gradually but like all of a sudden slow up bad and then you're going to be looking like dude what's going on with this what's going on with that and people gonna say well remember that contract that you voted yes on that's why um yeah this, this this ain't this ain't cool now i will say he did add something but well, this is about the general numbers that we supposed to get to our steps faster i don't understand that um i gotta do some more digging on that and then i'll I bring that to y'all as well i do want to get to part of that though um because it, it matters is part of the pay. It matters a little bit. Um, so I want to go check that out right quick before I get out of here. Um, hold on, where we at? Wow. Okay. Dang, I, I will have to go back up. Anywho, so if this goes into effect, right, the, the tentative agreement that we have now, what they want to do is to, in 2025 eliminate, right? So I'm looking at this where it says table two. I'm scrolling up. Okay, it's the table that's at the top now. Uh, I don't know what screen we on. Hold on. What screen? What screen we on? We on the mini screen, right? They want to eliminate uh, AA step AA A N N B, right? 2025. They want to eliminate that and push everybody into step C, right? So I'm assuming when you come in, you will be at step C right and then you have to halt at step c for 46 weeks i believe and then go to d here's the issue right regulars the d and e table is around people that's been in for for five and a half six six and a half years so it's going to be weird really weird to have ccas and ptfs 
newly probably making regular at, at that point in time, maybe a year into their regular status, they can be in the same group as someone that's possibly possibly been in for five or six years already. And they probably would have been in for like a year and a half or two at the time because they're going to push everybody into this. Now, this is the thing. They're pushing the bottom up, but they're not doing anything with the middle and up, pushing them up. So it looks like it could benefit newer people. But again, once they get into this regular status, they won't be getting none of those benefits. You know what I'm saying? So it's only like shortly benefiting the new people. And then once they're regular status, they're going to they're going to slow up like an extreme halt to, to their pay is, is going to slow up. That's why I say it's why it should be a no. That's a no for me, though. You know what I'm saying? That's that's also said up here. Hold on. Let me, is it right here? Hold on. I'm about to go. It, it got everything all the way away from each other. Give me a second. Give me a second, please. Hold on. Is it right here? No, 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 no. no, no, no. There you go. It's up here. It's under the, uh, the cola joints. The modification of city carrier pay tables. Additionally, step A, 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 and B will be eliminated from table two. That's what we were. All city carriers in steps A, 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 and B will be advanced to step C and, and begin a 46 week waiting period to be completed before advancing to, to step B, right? After uh, implementation of this change, the total time to reach top step will be reduced by 92 weeks. The changes will be effective and implemented within 180 days of ratification. Uh, this important to top paid people or somewhat important, uh, also effective and implemented uh, within 180 days of ratification. The annual wage in step P in tables one um, and two shall be increased by $1,000. Uh, step P is the, the top of the pay scale. Uh, this increase is a, is in addition to the GWI in colas. Uh, all cares at, at step P uh, of table one would be administrative administratively slotted into step p of table two immediately table one carriers in steps o uh and below will uh will be upon reaching step p administratively slotted into step p of table two as well this sliding is purely administrative will not affect wages in any way and then we get to the cca 2.3s that we talked about this is why they get the one point the one point uh, increase effective um for the three generals you know what i'm saying could they get the 1.3 1.3 1.3 but you stack this one on top of it to get the 2.3 2.3 2.3 all right cd cares as assistant uh i don't know if that is uh hourly rates in table three will also be in increased by an additional 50 cent per hour this ratification increases will be will be implemented within 180 days of ratification uh, then this goes in, into back pay um yeah man this ain't this ain't we the dude didn't negotiate nothing financially that's worth talking about um at all uh my personal opinion um to each his own though to each his own so it's up to you guys to determine um what it is for you, you know what I'm saying? Um, I'm not here to talk anyone into going to one side or the other. Not my job, not my business. Um, as far as as far as someone's money go, you know what I'm saying? Now we all get caught up, and I might be talking my stuff sometimes, you know what I'm saying, about certain things, but you know what I'm saying, for real on, on this note, you know what I'm saying? I'm not here to talk y'all into or out of anything you know what i'm saying especially when it comes to voting for anything everybody got their own families their own responsibilities things of that nature um so the decision is yours you know what i'm saying i personally personally don't feel like it's a good contract um and we was only negotiated those 1.3 percent which will be nothing right and we actually have no idea what the colas will be for the other two years for 26 and for, uh, for uh, 25. So we only can go with the colors that we have and it's three of those. Um, and one of those was 300 and some dollars. Well, if the next ones go down and be 300 and some dollars each. 
uh, that means all your raises will be lower because that tw uh, year 25 will be based on 620 and, six and 604, I believe. So, yo, this number up there that you guys seeing on the big screen would be lower than that, right? Um, so you gotta you gotta determine if if what you see on the screen is worth three years. That raise right there is worth the three years that you put in or that you worked. And if the answer is no, then you know what your decision probably will be or should be. That's on you right i personally believe it's a guarantee no now for the people in management on the management side that's listening whether it's a winfro or anybody in the upper union that's part of negotiations or anybody that's listening i'm a i i tell you like this just like you know what i'm saying if you see me pausing uh someone said before that when you're talking or podcasting whatever we catch ourselves saying um like this that, and the other you know what i'm saying a lot and i'm trying to catch myself from saying those so um they have a practice where um look, I, I just said again where you pause you know what i'm saying let your brain catch up i i kind of talk faster than i'm I think faster than I'm speaking. So by the time I'm saying something in my brain, I'm already like on the next sentence or two sentences ahead of that, which sometimes I can get tongue tied. You know what I'm saying? Or uh, I tend to try to talk faster because in my head, I'm seeing the words, but I'm like trying to catch up. That's that's something that I gotta, I gotta work on sometimes. You know what I'm saying? But again, I'm almost also talking faster because I'm trying to get this out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I get this out to y'all. Uh, Cause I know it's important to y'all to see these numbers, right? Uh, if anybody have any issues with the numbers, uh, make sure y'all leave a comment in the comment section below, right? We're going to figure this thing out between each other. Anybody um, take notice of the last video, last two videos. I do be in the comments a lot after, over the next whatever amount of days and things of that nature. I do do a lot of responding in the messages a lot. Um, once I do get time where I settle down or whatever the case is. I do be in there a lot. Um, I told someone, hold on. I told someone I would show this. It looks like we might hit the hour anyway. Hold on. So I told him, I, I told him I would. Let me see if I can get there in the, oh, we don't need that browser. Um, uh, okay, we'll, we'll go to the mini. Nope, not the mini. Oh, browser. I'm going to try to find it on, on this browser. All right. Because I told somebody I would show them the link. So I got to, I must make sure I say this in here that I'm going to try to leave, I'm going to try to remember to leave the link in the video description below on striking. Now, my issue is people saying striking is illegal. That's a half truth. And if you know it's not illegal, but you saying it, then you're just lying or putting out bad information. Now we do have elders and I try to respect elders. So I don't go back and forth. Well, I try to hope to not go back and forth with someone that might be an elder, right? Um, Y'all know how it is. Sometimes your, your elder gets some off. You just gotta let that go. You know what I'm saying? It, it is what it is. I'm not gonna go back and forth with, with them like that. You know what I'm saying? But anybody else, then it's on. So I heard, I seen some people say some things and I had to leave it alone because once I checked their profile stuff that they, they was my elders, you know what I'm saying? So I let them get that off. I'm not about to argue with them or whatever the case is like that, but a strike is not illegal, right? Um, the strike in the 1970s, I want to say it was 1972. I'm going to try to talk and find this at the same time. I want to say the strike of uh, 1972, but it was the strike of 1970s, right? When, um, when, uh, the post office, uh, went on strike and, like a severe strike. If 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 I'm not mistaken, that was an economic strike. If I'm not mistaken, which I could be mistaken. All right, let's, let's look at a strike of uh 1972 was it economic? Yes. Oh, 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 hold on. Let's go back. Mm. 
they might have the wrong stripe up there. And again, I'm not the smartest. Uh, I ain't gonna say necessarily smart, but I don't know everything. So a lot of things I look up. So when I say a lot of things, it's things that I've I'm looked up. You know what I'm saying? But if I'm not mistaken, that was an economic um strike. Now the reason why that matters is there's two types of strikes. Right? There's two types of strikes. So just saying a strike is is illegal, is false when you don't know what type of strike that you're talking about. Right? One strike is an is is an economic strike. So let's say right now, right? We have an issue with our pay. We cannot do an economic strike because we don't like the pay. That's a no-go. We could be fired. Uh, this is not just talking about a strike. If you actually like attempt to strike or go on strike, you could be fired. You could be fined or you could look at some type of jail time. That's true. If you did an economic strike with a no strike clause, that could happen, right? I'm not saying we should do an economic strike. It's just the information. I, I'm pretty sure I made it clear every time that I'm talking about the second strike. The second strike is called an unfair labor practice strike. All right? I'm I'm a, I'm gonna pull them up for you. All right? Two types of strikes. Let's see. Can I get this on the screen? Go back. <laughs> I gotta go back in. What you call it? Um, wow. Let's go. Can I get? Huh? Can I not get there? There we go. Cause I love you. Maybe I should put that on the big screen, huh? Put it on the big screen. Can I zoom in? Hold on. Is there a zoom over here? Cause I love you. All right, let me see how that look for y'all. Let me see how that look. And again, as I'm as I'm saying this, type the stuff in yourself. Right, we're going to go down the rabbit hole a little bit because I guess we might as well. We're almost close to the hour anyway. Right. Um, I don't want to, I, mean, I guess I could put it on the other screen, but I want you guys to, to, to see your numbers and get your information. But not. Um, let's get back. There's two types of strikes. Go down the rabbit hole, do your research. Right. Two, type, two types of strikes economic strikes and unfair labor practice strikes. Economic strike, a strike to achieve economic changes such as higher wages or improve working conditions. Unfair labor practice strike, a strike to protest an employer's violation of a labor relations law or the collective bargaining agreement. Now watch this. What did I just say? Now remember I said before, there's multiple reasons why we could go on an unfair labor practice strike. Wage stuff is just one of them. You know what's else under there? Violation violation of the labor relations law or the collective bargaining agreement what does management violate all the time violation of the collective bargaining agreement is an unfair labor practice the union again in my head lets them get away with this because they never will but i also think the union is, is in a different type of situation you know what i'm saying me not being a sucker and kind of knowing some things but just to say we could do this Right, I'm we gonna we gonna go to sites because it's on the NLRB website as well. And it talks about strikes. Um, the National Labor Relations Board determines whether a strike is an unfair labor practice strike. Right, cool. Let, let's go to let's go to them. Let's go to them. The, the, these these are, these are the big brothers that's over. Uh, a lot of the unions and whatnot. You know what I'm saying? Un, unfair labor practices. What we 
ہے You could go over here and look at the cases. I haven't went to that one. You know what I'm saying? Um, because it's a lot. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, a, it's a lot of reading. But again, leading you guys down the rabbit hole, right? Leading you guys down, down the rabbit hole. Go check. Watch this. Hold on. What are Okay, we'll start here. Unfair labor practices are violations of labor laws. Violation of labor laws, right? That protect employees' rights in the workplace. This is why it's serious and you're allowed to, to strike under these circumstances because it's violating a labor law, whatever they're doing. But it has to fall under certain things, right? Now watch this, retaliation is an unfair labor practice. Uh, taking adverse actions against an employee for, report for reporting illegal activity, filing a claim, or making a complaint of harassment or discrimination. That's unfair labor practice, right? Discrimination, unfair labor practice. Engaging in abusive behavior or making jokes about protected classes such as, such as race, gender, religion, or color. Discrimination, it's unfair labor practice. Bad faith in collective bargaining. Representing employees in a discriminatory, arbitrary, or bad faith manner is an unfair labor practice. And this one say, know your rights, man. Now we don't <laughs> listen. We don't know everything. I don't think we just meant to just know everything. I don't know everything, but I do do a lot of reading, right? You can also go here. This will take you uh, right to LinkedIn to uh, unfair labor practice uh, scenarios and things of that nature. You go all the way down here. I don't, I don't went into a lot of these. You know what I'm saying? But I don't. I don't want to. I wanted to uh, do that again. I'm just giving you guys the information. We get, we are going to tap into the NLR though before we go to today's website. Cool. Refusal to bargain, right? Taking unilateral actions, refusing to recognize the majority union or imposing conditions on the company's willingness to bargain is an unfair labor practice. Punishing sympathy strikes, penalizing employees for participating in strikes to support other unionized workers, unfair labor practice. Violating a state or federal statute not paying the legal minimum wage or overtime not paying the legal minimum wage or not paying overtime is an unfair labor practice right what what goes into this if you if you go down here is wage theft because this is what this is considered wage theft wage theft is an unfair labor practice and what and what this thing say you can strike for unfair labor practices. Let's go to the NLR. Let's see if we can get some information. Let's see if we can get some information. Uh, Cause I think I got it on my phone, but I don't, I don't want to send it to myself in the email and then try to open the email and then do all this. I don't think this is I'm mean, gonna spell it right. Oh god dang it, it's the wrong one. God damn it. Okay, here we go. Here we go one, one part up now. I'm on. Let me, let me save this. Let me copy that. And this is one that I put in the. In the what you call it? This is this is the website National Labor uh, Relations Board, right? This these are the people that's 
above to a degree above unions these are the people that if your union or or union rep is not representing you all the way to, to the fullest you can you can contact these people and put labor board charges on on the union for not uh defending you to the fullest capabilities right go down here strikes unlawful because of time and effect of no or of no strike contract a strike that violates a no strike provision is a contract um of a contract is not protected by the act right and striking employees can be can be discharged or otherwise disciplined unless the strike again unless the strike is called to protest certain kinds of unfair labor practices committed by the employer a strike that violates a no strike provision meaning if you're doing a strike with a no strike clause in the contract is not protected by the act right and that in that uh general um uh, convo with that's talking about economic and that's typically what people go on strike for regular strikes right when you got a no strike clause you can't do a strike just for uh, what was is now considered to be an economic strike right it's not that's not protected by an act there is an act there is an nlr act i think it's one thing you know yeah nlr act they did an act right which allows you to strike that's not protected by the act and the striking employees can be discharged or otherwise disciplined unless that strike is called to protest certain kinds of unfair labor practices committed by the employer right so again no no your rules regulations and practices all right and we're gonna end it here we can let y'all go Wage step is a type of unfair labor practice that occurs when an employer does not pay an employee for work they have performed. Paying less than minimum wage is, is, is wage theft. Not paying overtime compensation is wage theft. Not allowing workers to take meal breaks or, or rest breaks. Requiring off the clock work. Taking workers tips. Uh, misclassifying employees as independent contractors. This, of course, not for us, of course, and the one with tips is that's more for like people who get paid commissions or people that's in the um, like the food retail you know what i'm saying this is we got your waiter wait waiters waitresses hostess things like that um and then of course that one don't don't fight us right cool wage theft can have serious consequences for employees include financial penalties lawsuits criminal charges and reputation to damage it's also closely linked to employment discrimination with women immigrants and minorities being this uh proportionately affected right to combat waste if you can advocate for stronger penalties and increase accountability which is what we should do collaborate with community organizations and labor unions of course educate supervisors and employees um about labor laws through workplace training we definitely should be doing that as well uh definitely should, should be doing that but go down. I'm a, again. I'm gonna put some links in the what you call it um, in the description. <laughs> again, I'm gonna keep saying because I'm when I listen back to this, I need to remind myself to do that. You know what I'm saying. But again, that's there. That's there. It's even on the NAR National Relations uh, National Labor Relations Board website about wage stuff. They got a packet about, about that. Again, I wasn't gonna get into all of that, so I didn't have that ready right this this was supposed to be a short video <laughs> just about the numbers but it, but someone did ask i forget his name he or she did ask about that in the last video in the in the comment section i did say that i was gonna put one of the links in the description about the the strike stops please stop saying no strike is illegal whether and i'm not telling someone to i'm not telling you per se to strike or not to strike i do think that we should be striking that isn't that is my opinion right but i'm not telling hey man you strike you strike that's your business right but if you're going to say anything in a time like this make sure it's the correct information telling anyone a strike is just illegal when that's false information is damaging either you either you don't know and i like to assume that people are just not lying to do scare tactics that's what i would like to think um i would think that maybe the people just don't know versus thinking someone just trying to do scare taxes and they like going out their way to lie 
just so it don't happen. Right. Um, and that, that's, it's false. Striking with a no strike clause is not illegal. And again, because of the pay, I wouldn't say that. And it's why I say things kind of align for us at a bad time, but good time because we don't have to strike because of the pay and we can knock out multiple birds with one stone. We strike because of the wage theft. And I guarantee you that contract will get better. I guarantee you the contract will get better. And I guarantee you we get our back pay faster than what we getting it now for, for the money that they've stolen. I mean, it's called wage theft, so that you've stolen. The unions have proof that, they, that they've tampered with clock rings for years and stole money, right? So wage theft, we strike unfair labor practice for wage theft. Wage, wage theft is like tantamount to slavery. People don't work for, for extremely low pay or no pay. Like, hey, man, I know you work hard this week, but I'm just going to pay you when I when I want to. They don't work like that. You know what I'm saying? You don't decide that. Um, But we got to do better. You know what I'm saying? Again, this was just for you guys to get the numbers. I hope you get the numbers. Go down the rabbit hole. There's multiple sites, even attorneys who talk about it. That I scroll past some of it. Cause I, I didn't want to, I don't think it was on this one. I don't think it was on this. I think it was on one of the other sites. Um, I'm pretty sure it was, but yeah. You, so look up any of those terms. No, no, uh, striking with a no strike clause. Can you strike with a no strike clause? What is unfair labor practices striking during unfair labor pra uh, practice or because of unfair labor practice? Uh, you can also put in there R B in a lot of it, right? And it'll probably take you directly to, to various parts on their website, which is the National Labor Relations Board, um, who who created the the act. Um, and then just I mean, I missed that and everything. And go down the rabbit hole, get the information. We're gonna talk more, a lot more about it on the next episode. Um, get, get into more clarification. Then maybe I have. A lot of better information in. I just again, I just want to get you guys to get the number, but I did want to add this in for some of you guys that did tag me or or ask in the comments of the YouTube video about the uh, about about the information or getting the information, right? Uh, unfair labor practice with a no strike clause is not illegal. It is not illegal. The fact that they're doing something that 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 is considered an unfair labor practice is illegal, right? That's against the law. And because they're doing something against the law, breaking the state or federal law, that's what allows us to strike. Um, and in some instances, there's another page where it says some strikes are not even considered to be a strike. Um, but we might be talking about that one on the next one or just going further in or whatever the case is. Again, listen, I appreciate all the love. We appreciate all the love from the last video, from the strike video. Um, the links for the podcast are fixed now for Postal Blue. Um, Apple and Spotify did, did something weird where they they doubled up one of our podcasts into two different uh, into two different RSSs, but but got them intertwined so they they became like the same thing. They got that fixed. So again, Postal Blue on all streaming services. Postal Blue podcast on all streaming services. Links will be in the descriptions. Um, my I got to do a camera review and then my camera will be back in action. Um, I got to do a few product reviews, um, <laughs> soon. And then my camera will be back in action. Uh, I really got to unbox the second camera and do a review for that. And then I can get that up and leave my other camera where it's at. I don't want to keep on rearranging things. That's why I bought another camera, but I got to do an unboxing and a review for that camera before I get, I place it up. And again, I've been busy like crazy. Um, and I feel it. So again, appreciate all the love on the video, all the love on the video. Um, make sure y'all hit that subscribe button. Make sure y'all hit that share button because sharing is caring. Make sure your other people around you get that information, whether it's uh, your customers, because sometimes we put out information for customers or that pertains to customers, the so customers, your coworkers, and, and, and all that. And remember, the show is called Postal Blue. I, remember, I wanted to say this at the beginning of the show, but I, I completely forgot, forgot. The show is called Postal Blue. It's not just the carriers. It's just the majority of us that's, that's, that participate in it are carriers or part carriers. You know what I'm saying? We do got one of is a truck driver and we've all been either supervisors, uh, active supervisors, union stewards, 
uh, safety captains, all all type of stuff. Multiple of us have military backgrounds. All we got all type of backgrounds, man. But Postal Blue is to bring all of us together, whether it's uh, carriers, clerks, um, your truck drivers, your custodians, your mail handlers, even supervisors and managers. If they want to participate, anybody can participate. Union, it don't matter. Postal Blue. It's not called Craft Postal Craft <laughs> Podcast. You know what I'm saying? It's Postal Blue Podcast. We got to get back to getting the company together. This divide that's going on is not benefiting anyone. And you can see it in a lot of things that's going on in the company or in the business or in the organization, really, is what it is. In the in the organization, that there's a, a huge disconnect, like we're on two different sides when we're supposed to be on the same side, right? So Postal Blue is to bring everyone together for the betterment of the post office. Who at least everybody who wants to participate, right? So you don't have to be a carrier to listen to this show. You shouldn't have to be a, a clerk to listen to this show. Right now, if you are, you hear a lot of things about carriers. You know what I'm saying? Not everything about carriers, but a lot about carriers because everyone that participate are carriers. You know what I'm saying? We will be opening up the doors to take uh, other people, to allow other people to come in and speak their piece on things, the things that's going on, or do interviews uh, with anybody or whatever the case is. That's coming as well. Um, I am thinking about doing a discord for us for Postal Blue, right? So everybody had their own room. All the crafts that had their own room. They want to just go talk to each other, whatever the case is, ask questions. Then they have, have like a general chat for, for everybody just, just to come and get the information. And you know what I'm saying? Set up another game room. Hey, I, I'm a, I'm a gamer, coffee, a gamer. You know what I'm saying? Uh, it, there's a lot of gamers of us on here. You know what I'm saying? Get together. We need to create a, uh, uh, clan for uh, USPS on Call of Duty, you know what I'm saying? Get, get, get down. Now, my, I'm retired, but Coffee, Coffee think he be out here, you know what I'm saying? But I said to say this, you know what I'm saying? We growing. I appreciate y'all. Hit that subscribe button. We all now roll to 500. Um, hit that like button if you would, if you like the content, if you like the video, if you like the information, if you want more information, if you're looking for something in particular or got questions, make sure you hit it in the comment section below. I did see a lot of back and forth as far as like conversation goes on the last one. That's the community that we trying to build fast content. I think we can get it faster with a discord. So I might look into paying someone to build the discord the way I got it in my head. I could do it, but again, it's time consuming and I don't really got a lot of the time as we do like five or six podcasts um, regularly and things like, like that. <laughs> and I have multiple jobs and things like that. So I appreciate you guys. Appreciate you guys sharing is caring. So make sure you hit that share button. Uh, like the content. If you like it, if you don't, then you don't. Hit the thumbs down. Still appreciate it. And I'm going to see y'all on the next one. Shout out Coffee. Shout out Fee. Uh, what's up, what up, Watkins? And I'm going to get out of here, man. I am tired. Peace.